What up nerds? Today we thought we were gonna do something different, so we're gonna read a couple of your comments. Okay, so the first video we'll be starting with is the acrylic LED lamp. Prakash Budu says, Man, she's so lucky her boyfriend let her use his tools. <sighs> True though. <laughs> Mossier Balasek says, Only suggestion would be to ditch the Arduino and replace it with color cha changing LEDs. Would bring the cost down even more. Great work, nevertheless. That's probably true. I mean, but I wanted to be able to make uh, some lighting patterns myself and really customize it. But you could definitely make it with just regular RGBs as well. Then on the Pokemon Mewtwo uh, Game Boy makeover, yeah. mm -hmm. Andre says, That moment when you have all that fucking sprays, screens, and whatever more. <laughs> yeah, we, we do have a lot of it, but we've done, well, a lot of mods, so we needed all those, but we still have a lot of leftovers, so I don't know what we're gonna do with it. On the same video, Blackbeard Project says, Oh, the paint skill is real! Are you into mini painting by any chance? I bet you are, nerd all the way. <laughs> hey, thanks man! Um, yeah, I, I haven't done any mini painting before, but I definitely think it looks awesome and I think it would be really, really fun to do, so I might try it sometime. Yeah, like we need more stuff to do. <laughs> Stiprio says, Yes, we very like the video. Keep it moving in opposite direction. <laughs> in opposite direction? That's what it says. What does it even mean? Like... Probably destroying... Um, just yeah. Ripping it up? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Sex or Bex says, cool project, well performed and nice commentary. Thumbs up for ya, girl. Hey, thank you. That's really kind. Stefan Ramsami says, you can feel the Viking in her blood. That's right. Henley Phoenix says, hey, this is awesome. I subbed. What Gremmel piece did you use to carve out the pattern on the acrylic? Oh, what's it called? It's the uh, diamond. Yeah, the glass. Glass cutting. The glass etching bit. Yeah. And the diamond glass etching bit, I think. Yeah. You can buy like a set of those. Well, it's not your most popular video. It's the steampunk laptop makeover. Yeah. Beck H says, you'll never be able to get inside your laptop again. <laughs> well, it's true. I would never be able to get into it. Well, you would. Well, I would, <laughs> but I would have to rip it apart, so. <laughs> Slippin says, du är mad handy as daven. <laughs> well, thanks. Appreciate it. This comment is from the companion cube that's behind us. Alpha G Bone says, You seem pretty dedicated to RGB light strips. I am, but the companion cube doesn't have RGB lights. We definitely do use a lot of LED strips, that's true. Because LED strips are cool. Christoph Popinski says on the companion cube, Hey, next time use a foam slicer. If you need help with that, ping me and I will help. I should probably have used a foam slicer and we have actually built a styro slicer now that would have worked just fine. So I think I could have saved a lot of time making one, but you know, too late now. On the GameCube controller mod, we have Renz San Victoria saying, nice controller console with name and face with accent voice makes me happy. I don't the know problem that. is that your face and your accent makes him happy. Okay. Well, that's really nice though. That's a nice comment. Yeah. I think we can agree on that. Yeah. So, My turn. It's your turn now. Hand it over. We can start with the sound reactive. Sound reactive music light. The first comment is from Walter Van der Wolf. Walter Van der Wolf. You should start a store on either eBay or Etsy or Amazon to sell this type of stuff. Well, the thing is that uh, we ha I actually have thought about creating more of them, but it takes such a long time to create just one piece. And uh, well, then I couldn't be making videos as well. So it's kind of, it has to be a dis decision between making the videos or making the, the actual, um, the product that we can sell on Etsy. And uh, I'd rather make the, the, the videos to be honest. But uh, thanks for, I guess you'll, you must have liked them then, so I'll take it as a compliment. 
Okay, next comment also on the sound reactive lamp. This looks so complicated, but it looks super cool. Great job guys, love your videos. From Andrea Sim. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah, I guess it's complicated if you haven't really been doing any code or electronics before, but once you kind of get started with Arduino and the code is already there, so it's not that complicated really. <laughs> you should try it for sure. Wow, I wish I could do this stuff, but I really have no idea what everything is, says Alma Mond. And then Klecka answers, that's odd, he just told you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I guess uh, both are true. Um, it is kind of like a threshold where you have to, the entry level is a little bit high, I guess. You have to put some willpower into it to get started with Arduino, but there are so many resources out there and I mean, it's not that long ago that I started with uh, with Arduino and, pr and coding that kind of stuff at least. So I think anyone can do it, honestly. And yeah, I did also tell you how to do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Another comment from Artist Vey. She says, y'all talking about the sciencey stuff and coding and meanwhile, I'm just looking at the cutie host. <clears throat> he is a cutie host. Another comment on this video. <laughs> Uh, from Yuppie. So guys, look at this guys. It's so cool guys, guys, guys. I don't think everyone got that it was a joke. No, I'm probably bad joke then. <laughs> well, maybe. I did say guys a lot. It was supposed to be an impression of uh, YouTubers that kind of tend to overdo their reactions and stuff, but um, yeah. This one's from the Staircase Makeover. From Stuart Haddo who says, Just found your channel and I already have at least three projects in my head inspired by you. That's awesome, that's what we like to hear, you know. We make YouTube videos because we like to create stuff, but also because we use other YouTube videos as inspiration and we hope to be the same inspiration to somebody else. So that's great to hear, thank you. I think it's really cool that people actually get inspired by the things we make, so if you have seen any projects on our channel that you have actually made, I would love to see them and we hope that you send it to us on Facebook or wherever because, well, we think it's really cool that you get that inspired by it. Yeah. From the uh, one of the first videos you made, it's the LED panel. Okay. So it's an old one from Marlon Begu, who says, I'm way too stoned for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering why he was watching an LED panel build <laughs> in that case. Uh, <laughs> It's from Bradon Ibrahim who says, LOL, 2016 versus 2017. <laughs> That's true, there's a big difference between our first videos and uh, the last one, so uh, we cringe a little bit, to be honest. This is from the first Arduino tutorial we made, from Dion Brish who says, Always such detailed, thank you guys, keep going, your great work. Thank you, Dan, you have been commenting and liking us for a while, I've noticed you a lot, so thanks for sticking with us. That's really awesome. This one's from the uh, control panel build. From Robert M who says, This soldering gave me cancer. Uh, yeah, Robert, you're, you're probably not alone there. I guess I should have made it a little clear that I am no expert in electronics and I still am learning a lot, so... Um, soldering directly to the pins and stuff. It wasn't that beautiful, I totally agree. <laughs> On the control panel, is from Rotzi, who asks German? Norwegian. Norwegian. It's on the social media tracker you made. This is from the Pro Cactus, who says, it's never too early to aim for 100k. Well, since you're a Pro Cactus, I guess we'll have to listen to you. <laughs> but uh, 100k is far away, but sure, we have gotten a lot of subscribers lately, and that's. Um, we really appreciate it. That's really awesome. Okay, last comment uh, on the social media tracker is from MC's Creation, who says, Try to sleep a bit, lol. Well, MC's Creation, um, that's a good spot because uh, when I recorded at least the, the face shots, uh, it was very early in the morning and uh, you can clearly see that I'm tired there, so... Uh, yeah. And also with three really bright lamps pointing right at your face yeah. after you woke up, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can totally see that. But thanks for the comment. So that was all the comments. 
That's all the comments. Awesome. Thank you for leaving comments on our videos so we can read them. We read all our comments and we really appreciate most of them at least. If you enjoy this type of content, you can go to our Patreon where we post vlogs and it doesn't matter how much you give, uh, you get access to it anyway. And if you like this type of content on this channel, then let us know in the comments so we can maybe create similar videos in the future. Do you like my hazmat suit? <coughs> <laughs> second try. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you very soon with a new project. It's on YouTube. Oh, that works. That works. That works.